We got some hardened steel bolt 12 gauge slugs from Daniel. Damn, Daniel, back at it again with slugs. And we're gonna test fire it against a tire, see if it'll penetrate a tire. Hopefully, we can get some double penetration. Hello again, this is Jeff of Tile Fleeter Mouse. Welcome back. Today we have some more viewer created shotgun slugs. Once again, by a viewer named Daniel. These are half ounce aluminum pellet shaped slugs drilled and tapped with a grade 8 Allen round head bolt screwed into the nose. It's not a bolt, it's a screw. Nick will be using a Benelli Nova with a rifle choke tube. Technically it's a fastener. At a range of about 15 yards, the slug proved to be accurate and went clean through the tire without hardly disturbing it. Dude, that's the wrong type of tire. Nick made it look easy, but he landed that exactly where I asked him to shoot it. And remember, that gun has no rear sights. He's just using that front bead. Pretty impressive. And I'm even more impressed he didn't shoot my table. So we penetrated the first wall. We got a small penetration on the second one, so size matters not. Next up, let's shoot the seven inch solid lead disc at a range of 30 yards. What a shot. Look at the damage too. That's one and a quarter inches thick of solid lead. For Nick, it's all food and drink. Easily hitting that tiny seven inch plate at 30 yards. And Daniel slug performed like a champ as it plowed through that lead plate. In this shot, you could see a black mark on the back of the slug to show rotation induced by the rifle choke tube. Next up, AR-500 body armor. Despite our efforts, the AR-500 plate was just too tough. It did leave a scuff, but that's about it. The performance of the slug was still outstanding, flying flat, true, and accurate. And remember, this is a slug sent to us by a viewer. And if you think it's impossible to go through an AR-500 armor plate with a shotgun, look at that hole in the center caused by Tim Hamilton's Tactical G-Code's armor-piercing carbon fiber shotgun slug. But what about a soft target? Let's see how Nick handles this tiny, personal watermelon. Beautiful. Now Nick, a trained U.S. Marine, handled this shotgun like it was a sniper rifle. Headshot. And no matter what service you're in or were in, we want to thank you for putting your life on the line and protecting our freedom. Of course, we can't overlook all the brave law enforcement officers out there trying to keep this crazy world safer for us. And remember, the best deterrent for a crazy person with a gun is always going to be a legal-minded, sane person with a gun. And of course, Nick always eats what he shoots. Of course, he had a heck of a time eating that lead plate and chipped his tooth on that AR-500 armor plate. But in all seriousness, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I got nothing to say about the video, but what's the music? Oh, now I'm really outraged. That's it, I'm triggered.